back, Xena Woodhug Princess, and welcome to another Vera Bradley haul. This one is the brand new Harry Potter pattern, which is called Herbology. And um, yeah, so I have mixed feelings about this pattern, by the way. I did not go crazy. I spent way too much money, but I didn't get crazy. Okay, so the first thing I got is the pajama pants. I don't think that's what they're called. I would wear these um, mostly just around the house as lounge pants. Lightweight jogger pajama pants, Herbology. And this says size 24 to 26, which is three extra large. These are way too big for me. Um, yeah, but that's okay because um, I did, I'd like my pants to be loose and baggy. And um, these will shrink just a little bit, I think. I don't know. It doesn't say what they're made of, but they're, they're nice, comfortable. They're not the normal jersey knit, but they are a stretchy, sort of like a very thin, um, like sweatsuit, sort of. I don't know if you can see that material weaving it. But anyways, they're soft and comfy, and there you go. So there you, they're, they're super huge. But why did I order so big if I knew they're gonna be too big? Well, first of all, I didn't realize that the 3X was 24 to 26, that would never fit me, but, um, They've been running so petite with all of their clothes, all of them, so petite. So like in the in the shorts from the Hummingbird Park, I got just extra large and they fit perfectly. So I went big, uh, but apparently too big in this case. And that's fine. I would rather be too big than too small, but anyways. They do have an elastic cuff, which I think even if they were the right size, it's a loose elastic cuff. So they have give to it, but it's not like tight around your ankle, um, yeah. So if I had a store near me, I would have, you know, checked in person what the sizing was, but I ordered straight away on release day. So <laughs> there you go. So they are extremely large, but they have pockets on them, which I love. So perfect for comfortable lounge around the house pants. And I wasn't worried about going too big because they have a drawstring. So even though the elastic might not be <laughs> very elastic on my waist, it'll be a little big, but I can tie it down. So no worries at all. They will still make excellent pajama pants. And there you go. Um, pattern wise though, let's look at it on here because I think it'll be easier to see than it will be on the other pieces. So it's a geometric pattern and you can see right here in the middle, you've got the mandrake and you've got all the other magical herbology things around it. You have the earmuffs right above it. Yeah, so here's my impressions. I'll let you look at that while I talk. So first off, it's a light background. So I'm not buying a bunch of bags with a light background. I think the colors are okay. I love the teals and blues and whatnot. Um, the pinks are fine with the reds. I don't know why the mandrake is orange. He's supposed to be brown, so they could have done some kind of brown. But honestly, I just feel like it's super limited. Like what, do they only allow them to have like four colors? Why? Why could this not be more colorful or more, I don't know, I just feel like it's lacking. It's limited, let's just say it's limited. Anyway, that's what I think about that. It is fine for pajama pants though, and I don't know if you are gonna be able to see it, but like around the edges, um, there's words like so it tells you what the plants are, you know, all that stuff. Anyways, okay. So what did I get? Well, first of all, I got the pajama pants. Second of all, I got a reach back item. I reached back to the home to Hogwarts pattern. Um, and the colors do kind of match. So maybe that's the answer to my color question is maybe they limited it so that it would stay in coordinating colors to the previous pattern-ish, although maybe, yeah, okay. Could have done added colors as well. It still would have coordinated, just my opinion. But yeah, so the home to Hogwarts with all of your magical things, you've got the golden snitch and so many other things. There's a lightning bolt in the pattern. Yeah, we've seen this already, but, um, oh, and a flying key, the glasses up here. But yeah, it's just an umbrella and it is, yeah, just an umbrella. <laughs> so I waited on it, I waited on it, waited on it, but I'm going to Universal next month and chances are I will actually need an umbrella 
because it is still springtime and Florida is very humid, so we shall see. But I'm gonna bring it for shade and or rain, just in case. And I have a gazillion other umbrellas, but I thought, might as well be hairy. Might as well. Oh, I don't need that. Okay, so two other items I got. I got the Clamshell Cosmetic, which is called the Mandrake Cosmetic. Um, yeah, because like I said, I don't want um, a normal everyday bag that's in this light background because that is going to get dirty. This is cotton. By the way, oh, this just says faux leather trim. This doesn't say on it, but the bags in this Harry Potter pattern, I don't think they really advertised it, but they're recycled cotton. They're mixed. I don't know if this one is as well because this one does not say. Yeah. Oh, no, it does. Cotton reimagined. This style is made with recycled cotton. So there you go. That is something we knew was coming. Um, honestly, I think it, it does feel slightly different than my other cotton stuff. Maybe it's just because I was just now feeling something softer. It doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel better or worse, just different, like a normal variation of the cotton fabrics. Um, yeah, so Max next to me at the moment. I'm certainly not willing to pay more for it to be recycled, but okay, it is what it is. So the ribbons are just ribbed ribbons. On one it says Vera Bradley, on the other it says Harry Potter, but they're like see-through so you can actually see the printing on the back side as well. So that's kind of interesting. I kind of don't like that. Okay, okay, come on. I also think, and Kelly thinks too, yeah, my little black and white girl. I don't know why they went with just the simple plain gray boring ribbons. Why couldn't we have the cool Harry Potter striped ribbons again? I don't know, maybe because light on light, that would have looked weird. That's just my thought process, okay? You get what you get, what comes out of my mouth. Um, but okay, so Mandrake, again, is very, very orange. On the pattern, let's see if I can see. Okay, so this Mandrake has a pink pot, an orange tree with green hair, and that is okay. But some of the mandrakes, like, okay, this is gonna be hard to tell. Let me look on the pants. Yeah, see, some of the mandrakes have green pot. So like this one has green. Oh, maybe that's not a mandrake pot. What am I talking about? That's a book. That's the herbology book. No, this mandrake. I'm not crazy, I swear. This mandrake has a green pot, and this mandrake has a pink pot. So some are pink and some are green. Um, not sure what else is different in the different scenes. It looks like the same scene with just a different pot. In some of them, they have the devil snare. They all do. Some of them have the book, some don't. Anyways, whatever. There's some differences. It's geometric for sure, but there's some variances between them. I only got one intact symbol and it bends around here to the bottom. Um, yeah, it's fine. My mandrake though. Okay, so I, I just think he's like ugly cute, you know? <laughs> okay. But it has, it's not closed or sewn on the top at all. So I worry that that's gonna be a rip hazard, you know, catching on things because it's not sewn. So I can actually use it to hold uh, something, I guess. All right. And I feel like I'm all over the place. Clearly I'm out of practice. It's been a few days. Come on. All right. <laughs> Kelly's missed you guys. Hi. Hi. Okay, go. But, all right. Paper, lots of paper. Inside pattern though, I think is really cute. So, yeah. Inside, it's kind of like a ditzy pattern with all these different pieces and parts. You've got mandrakes and you have, uh, let's see, what do we have? Gillyweed, Mimbletonia, Mimbulus, I don't know how to say all these names. Lepping, leaping, leaping, leaping something. Anyways, they have the names on what they are. And so all the different colors. So the inside I do like better. Let me turn this inside out. It's more colorful, like you have reds and greens and blues and purples and 
yeah, I just find it more interesting. Okay, so the reactive pattern is more like the interior. Um, for what that's worth, I did not get any reactive, so I cannot show you that. But the last item that I got is the Vera Tote. Seems a little smaller than previous Vera Totes. I don't know for sure. Okay, here's the thing. I'm all about the details. So when I looked online, I was not ready to break into the recycled cotton. I took a chance with this thinking that based on the other bags being recycled cotton, that this might be as well, and that was okay with me because I didn't know if I'd like it or not or whatever. But I'm supposed to be getting a recycled tester and I wanted to wait till I got that from Vera to feel it before I invest a whole bunch of money on it. This bag did not say recycled cotton, it just said cotton. The other bags specifically stated that it was the recycled cotton. And now I get it and the tag says it's recycled cotton. So is it or isn't it? I don't actually know. And I'm disappointed if it is, only because that's not what was advertised. And I'm all about the details, you guys know. So, okay. For what that's worth, I think it is recycled cotton because it does feel different. I don't know. Not better, not worse. Again, it does feel more robust, maybe. Um, it's not microfiber. It is a solid colored cotton, and that's the first time I've ever seen that from Vera. Um, so that's interesting, but it's a it's sort of a robust fabric. Like this feels, I don't know if it's because it's layers or because the fabric itself is thicker. I'm not certain. Yeah, but anyway. So again, no pockets at all on the outside, on the back. I think they could have totally put a pocket on the back. The straps um, are internal fixated. I don't know, it feels like they're only sewn in at the top. So you don't have that before. Same thing I talked about last time with the Harry Potter collection. I worry that if I weigh this down because it is a big bag that this could end up being a point of failure. I don't know for sure. It's just that I've had bad luck because I'm hard on my bag sometimes. Um, okay. But the front makes sense that there's no pocket on the front because that's where this big applique thing is. It's a mix of fabric sewn on with embroidered edges and all this, and then there's some straight up embroidery as well. Like the mandrake is embroidered, but this is fabric on top, embroidered flowers. All the flowers except these big ones. Yeah. Anyways, I like this because it was more colorful. And again, it's interesting because here it again has the green pot versus the pink pot. It makes sense because it has the pink flowers, but this is where that diversity of colors really could have been helpful to kind of give that more depth instead of the pot and the thing matching. Yeah, for what that's worth. You know, maybe they could have done a blue pot or I don't know. That's just the way I think about it. So that's the outside. Um, there is a pocket on the side, which is a sort of secret pocket here, a zipper, a very discreet, tiny little zipper pull, and the inside is patterned, and this pocket goes from right here to right there, so basically, let me mirror my hand, it's about yay big, it goes all the way to mid-mandrake, so it's halfway across the bag, and from here to here, no, oh, sorry. Right there. Yeah, so it's pretty big, like that big. Big as my hand. So that's a nice little secret pocket there. I still would rather have a nice slip right on the back. However, that being said, there is a slip right here in the top back edge, like on the Vera's normally. Here's the thing. So everything, everything today is like good news, bad news kind of a day. It's my feeling for all of this, honestly. Um, yeah, it just is what it is. Okay, so this one, because it's Harry Potter, you have two pockets here. You have your wand pocket, which just has this little paper in there. Wand goes here, and that's on the side. Hi, Kelly. Honey, I don't need your help. No, I don't. I know. Okay, go. Um, okay, but right next to it, you have your cell phone pocket, and that does have a magnetic closure. Here's the downside. Not a bad thing, but just observations. Okay, normally that would be in the center, but look at the split here. So it's like two-thirds this side, one-third this side. 
it seems to me that they just went with, okay, that magnet goes in the middle. So in the middle of that whole section, sure, but that is not the middle of the pocket because that other section is for the wand. So it's like off center, which it's a little thing, but it just seems like they totally didn't adapt to the wand thing, whatever. It just kind of meh, meh. All right, the straps do feel softer, like not as rigid. They are padded. There's a quilting line down the middle, so it's a little bit different configuration. But they do feel soft. It feels comfortable. I think they're shorter, too. They, they seem shorter than my other Vera's. I don't know. I'll have to compare in another video later. I mean, they're okay. They're a good height. Yeah, easy on, easy off. That's fine. But I do think they're a little shorter. Okay, inside. Normal Vera configuration, you have three slips, one, two, three on each side. Yeah, and I'm looking to see if there's anything else different. No? The zipper is black, so it's all black top closure, but then it has this light gray zipper. Again, especially on this piece, maybe not the cosmetic, but on this piece, I think that um, gray and black zipper um, mixed stripe one would have been great here because... Yeah, otherwise you just have this light zipper on a dark bag with the dark everything. Yeah, that's what I think. Yep, and the interior pattern is the same as on the cosmetic, so there you go. So they do match nicely though, but you have your pink potted mandrake and your green potted mandrake. Yeah, okay. So that's Harry Potter. Yeah, I'm glad that I didn't buy a whole bunch of stuff. There is a bag charm that is the Herbology book. It does open to a lay flat configuration, but there's no gussets or pockets or anything on it. So I didn't get it. I'm like, it doesn't even look like Harry Potter to me, but the color is like this teal color on there. So, But what I did buy, not from Vera, this is off of Amazon actually, but it's a vinyl figure, Harry Potter, Herbology. And I got this thinking, okay, this would be really cute. I can make a bag charm out of it, right? Yeah, I'm actually gonna leave this in the plastic because I don't lose all the pieces right now, but I'm gonna put all these little things on it, like a little chains, and then have them as a charm together. But look how cute! I have the Harry Potter Herbology get up. I have the little mandrake in a pot, which I'm just gonna put a, um, you know, screw a little screw eye in it and then hook it on a little chain. He's got the earmuffs, which I can have separate so that he can put them on or off. Not he, or I could put them on and off. And then you have a little wand. I gotta figure out how to secure the wand in this, but yeah, so I thought that would be super cute with my, you know, it's a good size for a big bag. It can hang nicely there and I'll put some bling on it and. Yay, so my new hobby, making bag charms out of things. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so I'll just leave that out. And that's it. That is Herbology in a nutshell. Take care.